Okay, so I've got my nickel electrodes and I've got some aluminium tube. I have made this solid bottom by pouring in aluminium. I tried to use my soldering alloy, wasn't very effective really. It is too soft when hot, unfortunately. And I also tried to, well, well link, but yeah, it leaks. The pouring itself is, the aluminium pouring is, is also quite tricky because you have to heat this anyway because otherwise you will get seam here and it will leak anyway, so I decided that, nah, fuck that and I sealed it with like silicate sealant and as you can see if you, if you heat this too much because this is like 650 and you are trying to raise temperature like like 5 degrees or so and then it all starts flowing because the heat spreads very fast as you can see there's a hole because it tries to hit this like either I was too high or anyway you get the idea aluminium is pretty tricky to work with if I wasn't stupid I would probably make a form and pour everything in and form such a cup but yeah hindsight anyway so how this works basically is you put this in okay I originally planned to use just a straight piece of nickel wire to do the electrolysis, but I realized that I would probably want to test the buoyance of the sodium, so I made this electrode. This is just nickel wire and aluminium separator. Okay, so I think I know what the what's going on there. I think this uh, separator must be at quite high voltage potential relative to the negative electrode. So I have added it, like this big piece here, and well, I guess let's see what happens. Well, if this is true, then are, unfortunately I can't really have a, a small volume as possible here unless I can find, well, unless I would use very, very, very thick electrode. Which is not impossible, so I can do that, but... Yeah, let's see how this will go. Okay, so according to the probe, temperature is about 400 degrees, so... Yeah. I will start slowly removing water. But by passing some current through. Okay, I think it will be pretty fine measuring temperature up there because there is and there isn't any charge really. Okay, I am starting to see some sodium, so I will wait just a second and then I will increase current. So what do I see already is that here the hydroxide level is quite high, I guess, because capillary effect. Really, I just guess. And inside here, I can see some bubbles, and these may be oxygen bubbles, so that wouldn't be very great. Well, anyway, you can see a bubbling on in the outer shell of the aluminium, so that's what I'm looking for, basically. And that seems to work. So now the temperature is dropping, so let's increase current significantly. Okay, here we go, 20 amps.
Okay, so I'm running this cell for about three hours now and the sodium production is still quite great. Also, no heating whatsoever. And where is it? Right now it is producing a bunch of sparks because I'm basically, I just want to see how big this blob can get, but probably not a lot. And I'm not quite sure what these sparks are, but I think these are basically from when the blob touches the electrode, it super hits the sodium and it kinda jumps into the air basically or nothing, not, not sure. Because now I have tur turned off the current completely and I, maybe I should not have done that because I don't have my scoop preheated. But I don't think the blob would get any, any bigger than that. and I have collected quite a lot of sodium this is what maybe 3-5 grams something like that 